designing your own badge for Schoology using Keynote. Hi, I'm Karen, and I'm going to take you through a quick little workshop on how to create a badge using the application Keynote. Keep in mind you can use other tools to create a badge. You could use PowerPoint, um, you could use Canva, but I'm going to use a tool that we have here on our laptop because it's one of my favorite tools to use when creating a badge inside of Schoology. And so here we are inside of my fourth grade classroom and on the left hand side I know um, I've been thinking about adding a badge to my fourth grade class and so I took the time to look at some of our standards and for this coming school year I do want to have a badge um, that my students can earn when they are legibly, <laughs> legibly um, writing in cursive and so I'm just looking at this teak legibly in cursive to complete assignments, right? So um, I just want to make this one of those badges that my students can earn if they are taking their time to write legibly in cursive, right? So what I want to do in Schoology is make sure that I design a badge that um, will be exciting for my students. And I know that when I go into create a brand new badge, I have three options that I can choose from as far as the shape. A circle, right? I've got this um, kind of ziggy zag circle and then a star. So the main basic shape that I'm going to start with is a circle here in Keynote in a moment. Um, and so whatever shape I create will go here in the center of any of these icons. Okay, so knowing that, um, I'm going to go ahead and go to Keynote. Keynote again is an application on the Mac. And I'm going to go ahead and create a new presentation. Okay, so of course you can choose from uh, any template you'd like. I like to start fresh with the classic white presentation. And then I decide what color I want um, my badge to be. So I'm going to just delete all of this information here. Now what shape were those badges? I hope you said circle because they were circles. Or, or a star, you know. Um, but if you look in Keynote on your Mac, you do have shapes, okay? And so I always like to start with a circle. There we go. It's kind of tiny, so I'm gonna take up as much of this slide as I can and I'm gonna try to make it a circle again. There we go. Let's see if I'll get the crosshairs to let me know. So it lets me know that um, it's centered but I can also see the width is 684 and the height is 688. So I think I'll stretch out just a little bit so that it's a perfect circle. And now on the bottom it says 688 point, perfect circle, okay? So um, again, you're in control of what color this badge is going to be. So for my cursive handwriting, um, I don't know, I think I'm gonna go with yellow, right? Um, so I'll click yellow here. I'm over in format, by the way, style but it's a little too bright for me. Um, maybe I wanna hit this drop down and select a different color yellow. Or I can even look here, there's lots of choices, right? At the color wheel, and I can choose a different color yellow from within here. Or I can even get fancy, I'll say, click that color wheel, um, actually up here at the top. Um, and I have uh, some other options if I'm looking for a very specific color, okay? So that was a little in depth there, but. I'm fine with that yellow, so let me close out of this here. Okay, now so here's my shape. Now I know that from within shapes, there are other items that I can pull in here to my basic shape, the circle that's going to be my badge. And so there is a search, and you can search for other items, or you can click and just kind of scroll through. But this prevents me from having to go to the internet and trying to find um, something or take a picture. So I'm just gonna type pencil, there we go. That's a pretty nice pencil. And um, maybe, maybe I do want some cursive handwriting here. So um, I don't like how this is just straight up and down. So now that my pencil is selected, I can actually go to arrange and I can, there you go, make it kind of look like it's writing. Nice. And the same thing goes, if it's selected, you have your format button selected. Oop, there we go. I'll go back to style. I can change the color of this pencil if I want to. Um, in fact, I think I want it to be a different color than the rest of my shape. I like that you can also customize 
this shape as well. So I'll show you what I mean here. If I select the shape and I do a two finger secondary click, right click, um, so that I get my menus, um, a lot of these shapes inside of Keynote will, will break apart, right? So the triangle will separate from the rectangles and I can actually then change specific colors now that I broke this pencil apart. So I'm gonna make the eraser. This is just me wanting to get fancy. Pink, right? Um, I think I'm gonna make this a gray color. Nice little gray color there. Um, maybe even a little bit lighter gray. Um, I can go with the traditional yellow, but then I need to change the background of my circle. So I think I'm gonna do that. I'll change my, my circle. Make this again um, another light color. And then I think my pencil tip, I'll go ahead and make that nice and dark. So now I have a really nice looking pencil in my opinion. Let's see if I make my background. Let's find another color for this background. I may just go with white and um, I'm gonna find myself a border really quick so that I can see my circle and I stay from within the line. So I did have my circle selected. I changed the color to white and then I went ahead and made sure I had a border so that I can see inside of this circle. Okay, so I have this really nice looking pencil. Um, and one thing I don't like, it's not that I don't like, but I wanna make sure that I put this pencil back together into one shape, because if not, anytime I move anything, I'm going uh, to make a mess of this. So I'm gonna highlight, click and drag. I wanna highlight this shape. Let's see if it'll allow me to do this. Click and drag, oh no. Command Z is undo. There we go, I'm gonna click on uh, I guess each shape since I'm not very successful in highlighting. Hold my shift button down. Let me select all of these little parts here. And the same way that I broke it apart with my secondary click, I'm gonna go ahead and do the secondary click and group the pencil back together. So now this pencil looks exactly the way I want it to look, right? I can make it as large or as small as I want. My idea in here is that um, I want to add text and I want that text to be in cursive. So I'm gonna just type cursive. Um, there we go. We'll just, I think cursive is good. I wanna make this text larger. So again, my format is open text. I can go ahead and increase the size, but I also want cursive to be in cursive. So let's take a look at the different fonts that we have. Brush script, maybe, cursive. Let's see if there's any other, oops, any other options that I might want to use. Let's see if there's something a little bit whiter. Yeah. Let's see if this one is better. I do like that one. Um, so just by looking at this, I, I can tell that I want it to be a little bit larger. Cursive. And click, click this text and move it over just a little bit so that the pencil is on top of cursive. In fact, I think I'm going to move this down just a little bit. I want to leave some room for that border that will appear around the badge. So if this is plain um, and exactly the way that I want cursive to look. Then I can go ahead and export this. I think that, um, I don't know, I'm gonna make this look like a paper since it's white and I'm just not sure <laughs> that I love this white background. So I might as well make this look like a piece of paper. I think that most of the line paper is, is blue. So I'm, I'm getting extra fancy here. I most certainly do not have to do this, but I can't help it sometimes. <laughs> so let me change this to maybe a light blue color. So let's see. Let's see, let's see. The kind of color that might be on a piece of paper at school, right? So I'm gonna command C, which is copy and paste. Let me close out of this because I don't wanna have to duplicate this over and over again. But I think what I'll do I'm gonna kind of cheat here. I wanna make sure that cursive would be within the lines. 
So clicking and dragging real quick. There we go. Looks nice. Um, and then I'm going to select both of these lines. Let's see, hold down my shift button and then click and select. So now I have both selected. And I'm going to copy, oops, let's see, Command C to copy, Command V to paste. And that's just because I kind of want the same distance. I don't know if you can see how it's showing me it's not the same distance and now it's showing me it is like as far as being apart from each other. I'm going to paste one more and I'm going to move that up here and wait to kind of look at those guides as well to show me that yes. Okay and now I think I only need one more. Actually this is perfect. This is good. And lastly um, maybe I want a red line um, to come straight down to look like that part of the paper that maybe my students wouldn't write over. I don't know. I don't know what the rules are, but I remember I had teachers and they never wanted me to write before the red line. So <laughs> let me, I don't know if that's a thing that people do anymore, but uh, let's see, I'll make that red. So does that look like a piece of paper to you? It kind of does to me. Now I can get, I can start cleaning this up, but I'm not so focused on cleaning this up because when I pull this inside of Schoology, right, it's only going to, I'm only going to use what's inside of this circle and that's it. Okay. So let me go ahead and save this as a picture because I'm going to use this picture inside of Schoology to create my badge. So we're going to go to file, export, um, and I didn't have you name this file, but typically when I make things like this, I tend to throw them away. Um, but again, you can save them, save your badge creations. Um, so I'm going to export it here. I only have one slide. I could choose however many slides, but in this case, it's just going to be all. Let me go to next. What am I going to title this? I'm just going to call this cursive badge, and it's going to be in my documents. I think I'm going to go ahead and put this on my desktop for this session. Export. Well, there we go. So let me minimize this. I have Schoology behind. Remember I had uh, been creating my badge. So let me cancel this. And remember to get here inside of your course. You'll go to badges. When you're ready to add a badge, you can import from resources. You can use their badges. But I wanted to teach you how to create a new badge. Okay. So I'm going to call this Cursive Queen. No, actually, maybe not. Not everybody wants to be a queen. Um, cursive, I like to, you know, use words like master, um, but I'm trying to think of like a fancy title for my cursive badge. Hmm. I'm going to call this a cursive wizard. There we go. And so my message would be what students would see, like why, how did they earn this badge, okay? Um, earn this badge when you complete an assignment that is easy to read using cursive handwriting. So that's my expectation for my students. I'm going to go ahead and attach the file. So I know that I pulled it onto my desktop and I named the folder cursive badge or what I exported from Keynote. So we'll go ahead and click on this. I'm going to hit the space bar and that's where I can see that, oh, that's exactly what I wanted it to look like. And then I'll open it up. And so it should pull in that picture image. And I can try out, I mean, it looks perfect to me, but I can try out um, any of these little circles here. So you can see this is what the badge looks like. So I can um, adjust if I need to adjust, right? But I actually like the way, um, the way it came out. So I'm going to leave it just like that. Let's check out some of our other styles. I definitely think I'm a fan of the circle more than I am of any of the others. And depending on, again, whether you're going to use certain colors for um, leveling up or if you're just trying to make a badge to make it pretty, 
you can decide on which one of these colors you want to use. I think I'm going to stick with this blue circular badge and then I'll click submit. And now inside of my Schoology course, I have cursive as my badge and students would see that if they were awarded it. Now looking at it, maybe I would just um, have a, a larger pencil with one letter, um, but again, it's still good enough and, and the students will be able to see that badge if they earn it. Um, and when we're ready to award, we'll just check off that badge and students will see that they were awarded that badge. So that's all there is to it. If you're creating a badge, you can decide what you want to be in that badge um, and design it yourself by using the tool Keynote.